I don't know, man. I just don't think I'm gonna call her back. Bro, why not, man? She was mega hot. I just don't think I'm over Jacqueline yet. I, it's only been... It's only been six months, and plus she seemed like she was kind of a crazy person. I would think that if I were you, Scooter. Sigourney Weaver? How do you know my name, and what are you doing in my apartment? This is awesome! Never mind that. I'm here to explain things. There's a higher purpose that you asked Jennifer out on that next date. But she dances to her own drummer. She's a vegetarian for Christ. I know it's extreme, but you need to fall in love with her. Why? It's all a part of the formula, Scooter. You, the needy, predictable man who lives for a relationship, just broken up with an equally needy, predictable bitch. You need to fall in love with the woman with the mysterious shoulder tattoo who occasionally eats ethnic food. Formula Scooter. I don't understand. What's so important about this formula? There are gods that came before us, Scooter. They require your love in order to thrive. It satisfies and feeds them. Without it, they'll destroy the world. And also, they'll eat your firstborn child when you two get married. Wow. I really don't care if the world is destroyed, but I would do anything for you, Sigourney. Hello, Jennifer? I only poked myself in the eye. You don't understand. The horrors of the universe could be amassed if you don't give me a back scratch right now. I'll go get the massage oil. Make it deep tissue! Um, and I'd like the tomato basil panini wrap sandwich taco salad. No, no, Jen. You were supposed to order the scalloped potatoes. There's a formula, and you've thrown everything out of order. You see, the gods feed off of your dislike for potatoes, but you eat them anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Why would I order scalloped potatoes if I hate them? Don't ask. It's the formula. It just has to happen that way. I think there's only one way to fix this. This is just a list of foods. I need you to get everything on that list and bring it to my apartment by six. Check the newspaper for coupon inserts. I believe there's a special on cracked pepper turkey, and I'm very intrigued. Wait, this is just your grocery list. And you! List. Wait, no, I've already gone to the dry cleaners three times for you this week, Sigourney. This doesn't have anything to do with some ancient gods at all. You're just trying to get us to do your errands for you. Oh, you are young and imbecilic. You don't understand the consequences your actions have. This is a formula. No. You know what? I'm not doing things for you anymore. Taking you bra shopping was uncomfortable and weird. I couldn't decide between the Demi and the Super Demi Cup. You know what? I'm not doing this for you either. I'm sick of us being your... your puppets. Where? Over there. That, that guy is an Abraham Lincoln puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, classic. <laughs> but as I was saying, I'm sick of us being inconvenienced by your stupid tasks. But you don't understand. Clipping coupons is what will save this world. The gods require a sacrifice of me having an excellent and impressive dinner party. I'll clip your coupons! Wow. It's a good thing this cafe was built along the San Andreas fault line. God dang it, she wasn't lying. I'm sorry I almost left to get her groceries. That's okay. I mean, humanity has to be saved by doing tasks for supporting Weaver, then maybe we shouldn't survive. You're right. Let's see what these gods have got.